Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Wow. Okay. Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so... I can guarantee you that you and another person are mirroring each other right now. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you could be in this Knight of Wands or Knight of Swords energy. I'm going to say the Knight of Wands, where perhaps right now you are becoming very inspired to take action, to be very passionate to be more driven, more daring, sort of like even getting in a bit of a, a more masculine energy yourself for you to go after like a, a, a period of your life of growth and expansion. And this comes after some type of tower. Now, this reading is timeless, but I believe that there's a full moon in Scorpio tomorrow, which obviously is, is all about death, rebirth, and transformation. And we are still in Mercury retrograde, which ends this week. And, you know, we just had our, the total solar eclipse. So there's a lot still, there's a lot of cycles closing out. Now, this emperor energy right here is in this Knight of Swords energy. The emperor is about to take charge in a situation. You may not really see that or, or feel it. Some of you, you can't really even see exactly what your masculine may be doing because you still are um, a bit preoccupied with this healing that's taking place. Yeah, I just saw the Four of Cups. Yep, the world. So this is the completion of a cycle here. You've accomplished something and something new is coming in. The Knight of Pentacles, this is you working on something, planning it. It may be moving at a rather slow pace, but a decision has been made. The Two of Wands is here. Yep, King of Pentacles. You may have made a decision to walk away from the King of Pentacles. Yep, judgment. You made a decision to walk away from this person so that you could make space on, for this emperor. Now, this Empress and Emperor energy could be all your energy as well. This could be you, you know, working a lot on your divine feminine energy to be, you know, very creative. But the Emperor energy is also about just being practical, structure, creating a foundation. You may be choosing now to really lean more into your creativity and your just feminine divine essence in nature to structure something for yourself here in the physical but something here has wrapped up and it has completed the knight of pentacles here i feel that for some of you you could have a mask on right now they are making the steps to come towards you as they are going through some type of awakening because the knight of pentacles is now becoming the king of pentacles and the three of wands is here the Three of Wands is speaking, of course, about your ships coming in. It's growth and expansion. Someone is finding the confidence now to come towards you. So what's happening is this Emperor Empress energy could be you, Divine Feminine, or Masculine. Take out, this is someone that's in a divine energy, though, male or female. But this is taking sudden action right now to go after something very passionately. And a cycle here is wrapped up. So now love comes in. And this is your justice. You're going to be happy with this new option, this new offer or opportunity. Yeah, because there's been some type of um, illusion, something that needed to be cleared out with the moon. But behind it is the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So right now, I feel like there's just subconscious fears or some kind of illusions or confusion here. All right. You should pay attention to your dreams as well. You have the Page of Swords. 
it the page of swords for some of you you just feel like there's some type of delay here and it could be because someone here is going through an awakening someone right now is having a wake-up call they're reflecting on something and making a very big decision so take a leap of faith here the fool yeah someone is, is finally making the decision to embrace the unknown to take a leap of faith to try something new page of cups someone may be finally deciding that they're going to do the healing work and with the justice is clarified with the eight of wands, what's going to happen is this decision is going to lead to some very fast moving energy. A lot of downloads, a lot of changes are going to come at a very rapid rate. Yeah, the six of pentacles and the sun. So if somebody is making a decision to do something right now that is going to really, really benefit themselves. And if this is a connection, it's going to benefit both of you. Or this could just be you making a very big decision for yourself right now because of the energy that you're about to be in or that you're currently in it's going to bring you exactly what you want I'm, t I'm telling you by you taking charge in a situation taking charge and taking a risk to embrace the unknown and go somewhere new, do something new, have this new experience, it's going to open you up like to a floodgate of, of blessings. And it's something here about downloads. Something has been blocking your ability to receive your downloads. And it could be fear or some type of illusion here. There's some type of deception out here as well. This moon and page of swords, Someone that has been watching you or communicating with you. There could have even been some type of gossip about you. This could have had you feeling a little bit down. This could be someone projecting onto you. Like someone that's watching you, they're projecting fear onto you so that you won't embrace this Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands offer. So that you won't receive this victory, these rewards, this recognition, this success, this fame, popularity, or whatever. Yeah. Something here was to make you practically want to give up the idea of you going into some kind of union here. Five of Pentacles. This actually feels like it could be for sure like some type of spiritual attack. This could be coming from someone from the past, the Six of Cups here, or somebody wants you to miss out on an opportunity to reconcile with someone from your past or to have a connection with someone just from a past life. The Six of Cups is usually like a soulmate energy, someone that's very kind, okay? It could be like a past life connection, though. You meet this person and it seems like, you know, you've already known them. Yeah, somebody was watching you. It feels like, to be honest, someone out here, you could have a um, friend, family member, but for sure like a lover. You didn't know that this person had some type of personal vendetta against you. You probably thought that, you know, this was just a, a, a regular breakup or maybe you thought that, you know, this person was happy that they were at peace with everything, but this person has been watching you grow and heal and evolve. And it's sort of that crabs in the barrel energy. Like this person, they want you to do good, but not too good or certainly not better than them. So this person watches you and they project things onto you on purpose. This person could even, like I said, have been spreading some type of gossip or something about you. Yeah, but see, you're waking up from whatever this illusion is. You're taking the leap of faith, the judgment, the fool, and the two of cups. You now are about to embrace a new connection. Because someone here has been projecting grief, doubt, and fear onto you for pentacles. So that they could hold on to you so that you would not have the ace of cups. 
right? Now, this could be a friend, family member, or lover, but somebody has been watching you. Their whole goal was to watch you, to have some kind of possession over you. Now, this these cards show a feminine energy. For some of you, this could be a friend, a mother figure of some sort, or whomever, okay? Th th that's just these cards that shows, I mean, it could be a male or female, but somebody definitely has been watching you. If you're connecting with this King of Pentacles person, they could have a mother figure, um, a wife, girlfriend, sister, a home, somebody in their life that has also been projected. It just feels like someone here, honestly, like you've been under, there's been a spiritual attack of someone projecting chaos, conflict, and confusion so that you would not want to accept an offer that you actually will be very passionate about. So it's like for advice here, you need to quickly take action. You know, if you feel this type of energy come in, you need to quickly let go of this, like really get control of your subconscious mind. Because there, this, for many of you, it is a feminine energy. This person is watching you. Yeah. They see this Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands. They see rewards and success, happiness. They see you moving on, releasing baggage, being happy, going towards the sun. They see like these blessings coming in. They see you overcoming a lot of hardship here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, King of Cups, but this one is in reverse. These cards are not in reverse. So this definitely could be a Scorpio Feminine, King of Cups in reverse, Scorpio Libra, Libra Scorpio Cusper, because the King of Cups is here in the reverse with the King of Swords. And on these two cards, it's a Feminine. You have a, a there's a, a, a very masculine Feminine that has been projecting some really nasty energy onto you. Trying to block you from having some type of solid new beginning. Wow. Yeah, so for some of you, this King of Pentacles is coming in. This King of Pentacles comes in with the Ace of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be an Earth sign. It could be anyone. But the King of Pentacles is someone who usually they're slow. They're steady. They, you know... They care a lot about building. They care a lot about structure, security, stability. That's who's coming towards you with an offer or who, you're, who you may currently be with. I don't know. But you have this really masculine, feminine energy out here that is watching something unfold in your life. And they are projecting like heartache, pain, regret, illusions, confusion, chaos. This is a lot of jealousy and envy that is being projected onto you because they see you in like a soulmate connection with someone. There's a friendship. You're happy. You know, you're not really stressed out. You're moving forward. You're letting go of baggage. This person is very upset by this. Wow. The hermit. Yeah, and this person is hiding. And the two of swords in the verse. Someone is hiding. Could be a Virgo energy. But this is someone that you're not, you don't see this person. They're not coming out. They're not really showing themselves. But this person has, has gone within. This is someone who has withdrawn themselves from society, but they're watching you. So whoever this is, this is someone who probably doesn't talk to you or communicate with you. You may not even know this person, but they are keeping very, Close watch on your life. Very close. So I don't know if this person is watching you online or what. But they are fully tapped in to what's happening in your life. They want you to have some kind of stalemate. They want you stuck at a crossroads. And for some of you, you need to go within and do a bit of, of introspection and healing to make sure that you are not allowing this energy to have you stuck. Look at that. I just said that. Four swords. Yeah. You could be feeling very overwhelmed. Some of you are feeling overwhelmed because you actually are 
experiencing some type of spiritual or like psychic attack from this person, nine of pentacles. Somebody definitely has a, look, five of swords and five of wands. Somebody out here is competing with you like hard and heavy. Five, five, five is here. Actually, five, 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 55, 55. That's a lot of changes here. This is somebody that either you left behind or you're connected to someone that left this person behind. This person does not want to be defeated. But they're competing with you. This, this is like your... This person is in competition with you. And I mean, it's like they're determined to win. But I don't even think that you know who this person is or why there's any type of competition here. The hangman is in the reverse. And then you have <laughs> the star, the hierophant, and the chariot. So for some of you, you have a very bright future ahead of you. It's something here about your beliefs, your values, um, your connection to God or to a community. This person has a problem with the fact that you know your, your inner truth. And perhaps you have attracted an opportunity or you are attracting an offer that is fully in alignment with like your purpose, your authenticity. Somebody has a problem with your confidence. Like you may be an inspiration to others or you may even be an inspiration to this person, but the fact that you are so ambitious and abundant, that's, it's something that this person lacks. And now keep in mind how this could be someone of the same sex but for some of you, this could even be like an ex-partner or lover. But I don't know. It, the Three of Pentacles is here. This may be someone that you work with or they do the same type of work. You and this person have it's something about you that's very, you have similar goals. They want to be recognized for something they you're being recognized for. That's what this is. Eight of swords. So this person is trying to have you in some kind of mental entrapment or confused. They don't want you to experience any type of wish fulfillment or self-love. They want you heartbroken. Dang. That is gross. Look at that. The queen of cups and the queen of wands and in between it is a tower. So this is the divine coming in. To stop this, this person. You could be the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Cups energy. But this is a tower moment. Scorpio energy, Queen of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is divine intervention coming in to tear whatever this... Like, there needs to be a rift between you and this person. I, I don't know. The High Priestess is here and the Lovers. And someone here is doing some type of spiritual work to spy on your partnership here in hopes that you walk away because it brings the Ten of Pentacles. So whoever this is, like they, they have to be eliminated. There's going to be some kind of sudden change or revelation here. The Three of Swords, yeah. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. If this person was doing some type of spell work or anything like that on you, this is backfiring. There's going to be a tower here. For some of you, this is a mother figure. The Queen of Cups can definitely be a mother figure. Like this person wants to rule and control you. Of course, if it's not your mother figure, it could even be like the mother figure or a wife or, or like ex-wife or ex-girlfriend of someone that you are 
involved with, but this feels either this is somebody that does the same work as you. It's just jealousy though. Like I said, it could be a friend, a family member, it could be a stranger. But whatever you are being recognized for or receiving, this person, they want that. Seven of Pentacles, and they've invested a lot. The Ten of Swords, and they still have not, this person has not received some type of harvest in life. It makes them feel like they're stuck in some kind of bad luck. But for some reason, that's why I feel like this is someone, for some of you, you know, this person feels like whatever new beginning you have, it's it's a betrayal to them. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is the truth. And you're going to have to stand up for yourself and have the strength to fight against whatever this is. This is someone who, the devil, they are very much jealous and obsessed with you. Your Ace of Wands here, this person, they are always looking for a way to try and sabotage whatever kind of new beginning that you have. This person is obsessed. Let me see something. Yeah, this, this person, very vindictive. I don't have anything against Scorpios, but we know Scorpio energy can, can, can be very vengeful. This person has it out for you. Yeah, exorcist. See, you freed yourself from this person because you know they have very destructive impulses. Like this person, they'll watch you and see something or hear something that they don't like and boom, look at that visionary. You see this person with like that crystal ball? And this person, that they are not changing. It's their way or the highway. They have a problem with something that you're doing for some of you, I have to say, like this mother figure, this could even be something that's in your bloodline that you're fighting against. It could be um, a feminine energy in your bloodline that's no longer here. But if you have been chosen to break some type of generational pattern or you could even say curse, you're battling against this feminine energy. Because perhaps you're choosing to go in the direction of something that is maybe unconventional. The fact that it's different. It's just different. You're not going to be in some type of low vibration where this entity or this energy or whatever can use you or abuse you to force you to do what he, she, it wants you to do simply because of your your DNA or your past or whatever. Like I said, it feels like a mother figure. This person does not want to face their own shadow or, he, or, or demons. So your light is irritating this person. This person could have went to a psychic or someone to get a reading about you and what they're seeing, they're upset about it. They're upset that Something good or or let's be honest, great is coming into your life. They feel betrayed by this. Uh, yeah. This is definitely somebody that is they're watching you through divination, I'm sure. They gossip about you, they talk about you. Alchemist. Yeah. This person misuses their power and knowledge. So this person could, this could be like a, even a spiritual life practitioner or something. Could have even been like a mentor to you at some point. This is someone who is supposed to share wisdom. The alchemist card is like temperance card. It's like that shamanic like energy. This person should be giving wisdom and guidance, but instead they're, they're misusing and abusing their power to use divination to spy on you, to give you false information, to create, you know, stories, lies, and illusions. But this is jealousy and envy. This person is upset. Like I said, they're upset. 
that you have something that they want. But I don't understand, for some of you, especially if you don't know this person, I don't understand where they get it. This, this person feels like you betrayed them. <laughs> Look, scribe, and this card says plagiarizing others' work, altering facts. Yeah, this is a this person is lying. They they are this person can't be in the right because yeah, they're destructive, the destroyer. I'm telling you. This person wants to destroy all of your dreams and potential. And they will lie and misuse and abuse all of their power to do it. You could be, yeah, with the network of card here, monk and nun here. Yeah. This person is spreading lies. And this person with the monk or nun card here. This is someone who hide. They're hiding. They they're they're hiding. Yeah, this person is hiding, and they're violating. This person could be in the spiritual. Community. They're violating people's trust in the spiritual community by hiding a lot. Like this person. They just have a problem with your, um, you have here the nature child, like natural child, like this childlike nature or energy that you have because you have this childlike energy, but you're like a spirit guide. A goddess, yeah. So this is someone who is very jealous and envious of the fact that someone is a divine feminine. They don't know how you became a divine feminine. They don't care what you went through or anything. But this person, your life force energy, the fact that you embody both this divine feminine and masculine energy, and perhaps, look, prince, look, prince, knight, companion, and warrior. You're attracting a divine man. So somebody here is just upset that you are a divine feminine or master, and you are attracting a divine counterpart. This person claims to be a teacher, someone who is wise, but they're a shapeshifter. Yeah, this is a shapeshifter. This is like a spiritual practitioner, a reader, a shapeshifter, but they are manipulating and abusing people who they teach or mentor or they're, who they're meant to guide because they're actually competing with them. So, like I said, this is that I want you to do good, but not better than me, you know. So, if this person ever taught you anything, if this is a boss, um, someone that, you know, the Three of Pentacles, you collaborated with this person or with this group. This person is wearing many different masks at this point. They want to appear a certain way in a community or online, but behind the scenes, this person is very destructive. And they're trying to destroy your network, your community, how you are seen or perceived in your community. They want to ruin that because this person knows with the goddess card here and guide, you are like this natural born leader. You're reaping benefits and rewards and recognition from being someone who can just communicate with like very high vibrational beings. Some of you may really like animals. This person abuses animals. They abuse people and animals and the environment. They don't care. So this is this is um this is like your total opposite. Yikes. But this person, it's like they're they're competing with you, jealous and envious of your life path, your life purpose, and the fact that you have a companion. You have Prince, Knight, Companion, and Warrior here. So this is like a... And this person could have come to you and acted like they were your friend or companion. Like they were, this person acted as if they were loyal. 
and selfless. Like they wanted to really see you do well. Like they wanted to to teach you so that it's like this is someone who wanted to who was claiming that they were going to teach you how to be the best version of yourself. But this person, they're a shapeshifter. Now that them having a friendship or whatever is not beneficial to them and you're gaining success, this is a friend turned enemy. Or this is just you have a jealous, envious, obsessed stalker. You may not even know this person. It's a friend, family member, lover, somebody though that because of what you have and what you are manifesting, they have an addiction and an obsession in watching you. But I just don't understand how this, this person feels very betrayed by you. Or this person, if it's not, this person is upset that they are receiving so much bad luck, but they're receiving bad luck because they keep on attacking you. <laughs> this person has invested a lot in attacking you to bring you pain and suffering. They, this person wanted you to hit rock bottom and it's affecting them. And you have warrior, knight, and prince out here. See, a lot of you, you have someone loyal that's coming in. And this person, they're strong, they're skilled, they're a warrior, they're disciplined. Um, this person is not, this. whoever this masculine is, they're not in their ego. So this, this is someone who is upset. Listen, whoever you are, divine feminine, you just have the real deal, okay? Whoever you are, whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, something about you is extremely authentic and you also are attracting authentic lovers or you've attracted like a divine masculine. Whoever this shape-shifting person is, they are furious about this because even if they are trying to trick that, that your person it's not working because your person is like a spiritual warrior. They're very skilled and disciplined. They don't operate out of ego. So this person cannot send any type of low vibrational energy towards them to make them betray you. This is someone that is doing everything to try and destroy you. And they're doing this with some kind of spell work or something. They're utilizing some type of power or knowledge to manipulate the energies. It's not working though. And I just, I, I don't know if I um, already uploaded it, but I just did a reading about this a few days ago where it's like someone here has tried to cloak you in, in invisibility and they've tried to create financial challenges. Like somebody has thrown everything at you to spiritually attack you, but yet your halo can still be seen by your divine feminine or masculine. Somebody is so upset because they're throwing everything at you and it's not working. Because not only are you divine, you have a divine counterpart. So it's like, I'll, I'll be honest, the emperor and the empress came out before. This is someone who has, has been attacking not just you, but your person. You may not even know your person yet. They're already sending negative energy out in hopes that that person will come towards you and they will lie to you, deceive you, betray you. But what this person is doing, the more I look at it is, this person is creating some type of curse or trying to project some type of negative energy onto you in hopes that whatever masculine or feminine energy that comes near you, that they will buy into whatever they are trying to project onto you. They want someone to buy into the projections and the illusions. But you're so high vibrational, that's not working. Like said, you're like an earth angel. Your halo is, is beaming, it's glowing. And even if many people can't see it, God is going to make sure that the right person can see your halo. This person's cloaking or this um, 
non-monk type of energy that they're in. This person is a, this is a dark priestess in your community that's trying to destroy you by copying your work, plagiarizing something, lying, abusing their power. This person is jealous of your divine power and your divine connections. You have here the slave card. <laughs> this It says giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. Yeah, so this person here could be allowing themselves to be used by some type of entity or they're working with entities. They could even be working with some type of voodoo doll or something like that. Saboteur trickster. That's what this person is. They're a dark priest or priestess. And they are manipulating other people through shape-shifting in order for them to carry out a, a task of them sabotaging your connections because you are a mystic divine being. So this person has a problem with your natural ability to connect with the divine. This person can't do that because they're like a, a soulless being. This person has to work with dark energies or entities or whatever to help them to sabotage other people's lives or to get their energy. They have to operate as a trickster to sabotage other people by being a shapeshifter who works with dark entities. And they've been using this to try and have you and your person to hit rock bottom and it's not working. Pull a few cards and see what's going to happen with this connection. So it, it seems that what I've been picking up on um, the last few days, people are definitely doing some spiritual attacks on these connections that are coming coming up here. Um, let's see. I just want to see, like, what's the outcome here? Judgment. Someone has to face judgment for all this stuff that they're doing. Judgment. There's judgment being called on this magician, this dark creature. Yeah, this is someone here who works very hard to trick and sabotage the life of others. Ace of Pentacles, see? The offer is coming towards you. That's why this person is so upset. And this is somebody that's for sure. They are attacking you and someone else. But even with them trying to make a person hit rock bottom, your healing, your divine energy, it can still pretty much like help this, help this person if that's what they need. The Ace of Pentacles, somebody here doesn't understand how you and this person are able to remain unbreakable. I'm telling you, you don't even know this person, but there's a spiritual, there's a spiritual connection, the Ten of Pentacles. This has already been written in the stars. Y'all heard me, I said, what's going to happen with this connection? It's very much secure and stable. <laughs> this person was trying to get rid of your counterpart, trying to trick them or get rid of them in the spirit or something like that. This, yeah, I, I'm seeing it here. I feel like this person tried to go to your person in the spirit realm, like possibly cloaked in someone else's energy, maybe even in your energy and tried to trick this person or to a spiritually attack them. But you've already received this offer. Like the divine has already given you this offer and it's, it's turning into the Ten of Pentacles. This person, that whatever they're doing, they're too late. You've already got the offer. You're already in a divine contract. This person is is a is a several days late and, and many dollars short because they're they were trying to tamper with a a, a contract that you've already received. 
I, this person was trying to bind or like this masculine or something like that. Look, <laughs> this masculine is already free. They're taking a leap of faith. Seven of Pentacles. They are investing in this connection. Two of Wands, Six of Swords, and the freaking Temperance card. There is nothing that somebody is going to do to stop this union. Eight of Swords. This person, even if you can't see something, they can see it. The Empress. This person is coming here to make sure that you have a peace of mind because this person has been trying. This person tried to bind you in the spirit. And I'm assuming they tried to take your energy and trick your masculine with your energy, but they tried to bind you in the spirit. This person knows your energetic signature. So this didn't work. And again, this person being like a warrior in the spirit, someone tried to trick them in hopes that they will fall for something out of ego. Ten of Wands, this person, they're, they're holding on to this connection, this union. They're holding on to it. You and this person have some kind of psychic connection. They this this per, this um dark priestess or whomever they can't stop this. Yeah, <laughs> they can't. the The bond here is too tight. It's literally unbreakable. You and this person have some kind of psychic connection. So if somebody has been tampering with this connection. It's it's already a like a sealed deal. It's it's already here. I ask, what's happening? This connection is going to be balanced out. This masculine or or feminine or both of you, you've already invested here in this connection. This is like a connection that you guys have been building in the spiritual realm that's about to manifest in the physical. Somebody was trying to stop this from manifesting in the physical. They've been watching this connection spiritually. And that could be just through divination spying. This person is pulling cards or going to psychics or whatever, trying to figure out what's happening next with you. And they keep trying to rush in to block something. But they're being eclipsed out. They can't block this. This person wanted you to experience a, a, a terrible ending. And if, if they couldn't get you, it's like they were willing to even try to take out this masculine. Just whatever to ensure that, like, you are devastated. They just don't want you to have something. That's really sick. That's some real cold hearted stuff. Yeah, this could be somebody that does the same kind of work as you or occupation. Or they do this as, or they do this, um, this is their job. This is a dark priestess. Someone has paid this person to watch you and monitor you and, and just try to destroy your love life. False person. And now this could be the ex or someone of a masculine that you're connected with. I don't know, you know, how you know this person or if you know this person. Just know it's there's a dark priestess out here. Message, yeah, there's there's a message to this community, though. That someone is in bad health. Marriage. Whoever this person is in the, in the community, they are sick because they're getting a message here that there's a spiritual contract that they could not break. The message of concern that they've received is that judgment has already been called on the situation that they went and attacked a person that is of high honor. And there's there's not going to be a favorable outcome for them. Nope. And you are the privileged lady. You become, so I mean you, this, this could be, for those of you like that are readers or light workers, healers, you could be a privileged lady and you work very, and you work using your gift. Whoever this is, and this could be a man who hired a practitioner to do this. So Divine Feminine, I don't know, for some of you, this could be a, a jealous, envious ex of someone that you're connected to. This could be your ex. It could be a friend, family member. But there's a person out here, either you have a practitioner that's attacking you because they're jealous and envious of you, or you have a practitioner that has just been hired that is working for somebody that's very jealous and envious of you. And I feel like the practitioner, even if they've been hired by someone, they don't like you either. 
Somebody in here just does not like this divine feminine, period. And it has everything to do with your gifts. Yeah. Look at that house, sudden wealth, your security, your stability. These people are trying to break the house. Like they're trying to trespass and break into your energy. I just did a reading about that a few days ago. Like these energy vampires, they're trying to break through your, your protection shields. This false person. This person is about to be in poverty. While you go into this connection. Yeah. And if they and if somebody hired them, they're gonna be in despair and may may go to jail. But someone out here, whoever the people are that's doing this magic, they're about to be in spiritual jail. They won't be able to use whatever these abilities are that they've been using. And it, yeah, look at that. Distant horizons, coughing. <laughs> Wealthy man, pathway and change. I feel like somebody here is about to, whoever this masculine is that they try to hurt or sabotage. This person with the coffin of wealthy man pathway, this person is about to go through some type of rebirth. They could have even tried to make someone lose their job or something like that. This person is about to go through a major rebirth. There's a change coming, an unexpected income, and a courtship. So whatever these people did, this is nothing but a read of a total back, just backfire. Let's see. There's a connection out here. It's a spiritual contract. It's un it's unbreakable. So whoever did this, it was a waste because all of this is going to backfire back on these people. And this is a practitioner. They won't do any more work. Yeah, somebody got a message of concern that someone here is just completely out of their league. And whatever they thought they were going to do, it didn't work. Trying to ruin this privileged lady who's supposed to be going into a connection. And somebody could have actually tried to, like I said, have a masculine in despair so that these two people couldn't come together. There is some sudden wealth that's coming, though. Everything is just going to be made good to go. Um... Because the situation, like I said, it just backfired. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that they gave someone a bit of clarity and confirmation. If you felt like you was under some kind of spiritual attack, nine times out of ten, this is your story and you have been. There's a scorned lover either from your past or from the past of someone that you're connected with um, that has been attacking you or they have been working with someone to spiritually attack you. Um I don't think that this dark priestess is working alone. I feel like this person is getting instructions from someone that you or a person that you're connected to knows. Um, but a lot of really dark energy here, a lot of monitoring spirits and entities. This person is allowing entities to use them or they're worshiping different entities or, or deities or whatever for them to have this shape-shifting ability for them to try to come in and trick you. Or your person, especially in the dream state. They did all of that and it still didn't work. So, that's that. So, I love you guys all very much. I really hope, yeah, look. She tried to trick this person in their dream state. It didn't work. She thought that she was going to end this man. That has already invested in this connection. Mm-mm. Your angels, your spiritual team is balancing everything out to ensure that you have this long-term stable commitment. And remember, I also want to say, some of you, you have, you come from a family where there are witches, wizards, warlocks, dark priests, and that could be something that you don't know. But this is something that's hitting pretty close to home. Um, some of you, you can't figure out where this attack is coming from. It could be coming from, like I said, a, a dark person somewhere in your bloodline that is attacking you because of this blessing that you have coming. Don't don't ever think that you don't have some ancestors that won't, you know, battle you as well. You could have a, an ancestor that was a very dark priestess at some point, and there could have been like some kind of generational hex or curse, and because you are breaking it you've had to battle against that energy.